Hey, if you want to discover the top three niches to go into when you're brand new in order to make sure that you ensure profitability and get your business laid with the correct foundation for long-term profit, stick around and watch today's video through until the very end as I'm about to share with you the top three niches that you can go ahead and go into and the questions to ask before going ahead and going into a niche to make sure that you're going in to the right niche that ultimately long-term will be profitable. With that said, if this is your first video, my name is Vish Wilson. Over the course of the last few years, I've done over $25 million in total sales with my business. One of the main reasons being why I chose the right niche when I was first getting started. With that said, if you get value out of this video, as always, don't forget to let me know in the comments section below what your biggest takeaway is. And don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell icon notification button so that you're notified when I do more videos just like this. With that said, let's go ahead and dive right in. Welcome to the Misha Wilson Show, where we show you how to create massive success online so you can enjoy the lifestyle of your wildest dreams. All right, so again, I'm gonna talk about the top three niches that you can go ahead and get started with in just a little bit. But before I talk about the top three niches, what I first wanna kinda of talk about is A, what a niche is in general. I know a lot of people here, niche, niche, which one is it? Again, the actual pronunciation of it doesn't matter as much as you understanding the principles behind it. And then also I wanna talk about what makes up a great niche for you to go ahead and go into when you first get started. All right, so firstly understand that a niche that you're going into is just very simply a portion of a market. All right, so an overall market might be, you know, the make money market. So I wanna learn how to make more money, right? Now, within that overall market, people looking to make more money, there will be sub kind of portions of that market that will be niches in that market. So as an example, make money with real estate. That's a niche within the make money market. I make money with affiliate marketing. That's a niche within the make money market, right? Make money with crypto. That's a niche within the make money market. So really all a niche is when you hear the term is a sub kind of, you know, smaller portion of an overall market that you can go into and you can create a sales message that essentially compels them to take an action step to buy a product that's in alignment with once again what they're looking for within that niche all right so obviously your message would be very different if you're going into the make money with real estate niche you're going to be talking about you know uh, cash flow noi etc where with affiliate marketing you're going to be talking about the right product cpa rev share etc so the language is going to be different ultimately the desires might be slightly different the pains are definitely going to be slightly different but also it's going to be part of a general bigger overall market all right so firstly when it comes to what a niche is that's what a niche is and it's important to identify the exact niche you're going into so that you can get crystal clear on the pains the fears the desires and the pleasures of that market because ultimately what you have to understand is that the only reason people will buy your product or buy your services is because they're in a state of pain or have a desire and they're trying to get out of that state of pain or get closer towards the desire that they're looking to go ahead and achieve. All right, so if you choose a niche that does not have that much pain associated with it or does not have a really strong desire, the chances of you making sales to people in that niche are less than if you choose the right niche with people you know that are in a state of extreme pain because they will then be compelled to take action to move out of that pain or have an extremely strong desire because of course they'll be compelled to move towards that desire all right so firstly just what a niche is that's what a niche is now when it comes down to let's say you found your niche and you think you found your niche and I'm gonna go into this thing I'm super passionate about this that's the biggest mistake most people make going to a niche that they're passionate about and you know they essentially get started with a niche that does not meet any of these criteria and therefore they don't make money all right so before you dive into your actual niche and before you start building out your business in a specific niche you want to make sure that the niche meets three criteria and what you want to look for in a niche is very simple you want to look for a niche that has a lot of people in it all right so great in numbers if you get started in a niche and you sell to everyone in the market and you literally you know, make 100% of your potential sales to people in the market, but you only make 10 sales because there are only 10 people in that niche. Well, awesome, you sold the entire market, but you only made 10 sales, 
All right. Now, if you're like me, you want to make literally hundreds of thousands of sales. You want to make millions of dollars. Therefore you have to choose a niche that is great in numbers. The next thing you have to look for in a niche is you have to look for a niche that is irrationally passionate. All right. So look, the litmus test for irrationally passionate people that I kind of look at is every now and then, you know, we'll have, you know, a Thanksgiving get together with the family and we'll sit down and we'll be talking about everything and I'll start talking about marketing. And it's like, I'm talking about something that I just, you know, absolutely love, but nobody else at the table gives a flying crap about what I'm talking about, right? Like I'm completely and totally, you know, passionate about talking about building a list. I'm passionate about talking about a video sales letter. I'm passionate about talking about our backend conversion rates and our email click through rates. And God, this is working really well with this JV. And I'm super passionate about marketing, but nobody else cares. All right. That is a sign of someone being irrationally passionate about a topic, right? Um, you know, another example of irrationally passionate people look at dog owners or pet owners in general, right? People absolutely love their pets. They will spend thousands of dollars on their pets that they don't need to spend on their pets because they absolutely love them. They're part of their families, but it's almost like a weird obsession where sometimes the animal becomes, you know, more important than an actual family member because they are irrationally passionate about their pets, any hobby, right? I don't know if you guys follow pickleball at all. Uh, pickleball is exploding right now. People that are into pickleball are irrationally passionate about it. All right. They start playing a little bit and then the next week their life is completely and totally committed to it. They're waking up at four in the morning to play before work. They're going immediately after work and playing from four till 10 PM until the lights go out of the pickleball courts. And all they talk about nonstop is pickleball right? Uh, with that said, that is an example of irrationally passionate behavior in someone. So what you're looking for in your market is, is there an irrational, you know, passionate behavior and just, you know, that type of feeling within your market when there is, you know, that's a good market to go into. Now, the reason why you want to choose a market that's irrationally passionate is because those people will literally buy over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. All right. So a pickleball player will buy the, you know, the paddle. I don't know all the equipment. They'll buy everything having to do with pickleball because again, they're irrationally passionate. I will buy everything having to do with marketing because I'm irrationally passionate. I've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on my marketing education. So I'm proof of it. Right. And I will continue to do so because I'm irrationally passionate about the thing. So if you choose a market that is not irrationally passionate, you might make a sale, but you won't necessarily make repeat sales. All right. So understand the importance. And lastly, you need to make sure that your market is easily reachable. So if you find a market that is irrationally passionate and great in numbers, but there's no way to put a message in front of them. All right. Ultimately your message is going to be the thing that draws them in, gets them into your actual sales process, and then sells your actual product, sells your service, especially with direct response marketing. If there's no way to put a message in front of them, that market is no good to you. All right. So the three things that you need to make sure that you look for in a market, very simply great in numbers, a big market, irrationally passionate and easily reachable. Now, when it comes to how you might reach them, can you place Facebook ads to go ahead and target this market? Can you place YouTube ads to target this market? Not necessarily YouTube videos like this, but could you go into the YouTube ads editor and choose keywords that people are searching for that when they type in those keywords, your YouTube ad will pop up in front of the other videos, right? Those are all simple ways for you to go ahead and get a message in front of people in a market so that you can make sure that your market is easily reachable. So those are the three criteria that you want to look for. Now, lastly, of course, I want to share the top three niches for you to go ahead and get started with that meet all of these. These are actually top three markets. So you might niche down from the actual market, but they meet all of these. And if you do your job correctly, they will all be great numbers, irrationally passionate and easily reachable. And those top three markets are health, wealth, and relationships. All right. So health, when people are in a state of pain around their health, they will do anything to get out of that state of pain and get healthy. All right. When people are in a state of pain around money, when they don't have money, when they're broke, when they're looking to make more money, they will once again, do anything to get out of that state of pain. And ultimately 
end up building a profitable business, uh, making money with crypto, whatever niche you might be in, they're willing to invest in order to move away from that pain. And relationships, you know, when people don't have the right connection in their life, when they don't have the person they're looking to be with, when they don't have a partner that they're desiring, that's a state of extreme pain. When they don't know how to get that partner that they desire, they're willing to invest, they're willing to invest over and over and over again in order to go ahead and change that, you know, essential situation in their life and go from a state of unhappy to happy. All right. So those are the top three markets. And then from there, all you need to make sure of is that obviously your product is of high value. All right. So your product should actually be something that, you know, when someone's in a state of pain financially, if they buy it and they follow it and it's on them to follow it, it's on them to execute, it's on them to follow through, it's on them to execute consistently. But if they do it, it can actually work for them, right? If someone doesn't have a girlfriend and they want to find a girlfriend or doesn't have a boyfriend, they want to find a boyfriend. If they're in a state of pain and they buy your product, that's a solution to that problem. And they go ahead and follow it. They execute. Once again, they do it consistently over the course of a period of time. They should be able to get that result that they're after. And if your product allows them to get the result, and if you choose the right market, like I just talked about, and once again, Make sure that your messaging is right. You will have the right message to market match and therefore you will have high conversions. With that said, I hope you got a ton of value out of this video. If you did, please let me know in the comment section below what your biggest takeaway was. And don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell icon notification button so that you're notified when I do more videos just like this.